Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, this is my first video in 2017. I hope you all had a great New Year's. Uh, mine was pretty decent. So it is a new year and a new start. Of course, I am, like always, behind on my videos. Uh, now, this demon picture that surfaced, this is probably about a week ago now. I've been wanting to talk about it, and um, so we're going to talk about it. For a long time now, actually a very, very long time, there have been reports of people that have seen uh, demons or fallen angels or spirits all over the world. I mean, people are always seeing stuff. A lot of stuff is being faked. And of course, there's a lot of controversy with this one because some people are saying that it is, uh, that it's a demon or an angel or it's palm trees or it's this or it's that and whatever. So for those of you who don't know, I am a paranormal investigator. Uh, so of course this piqued my interest and I wanted to check it out. And there are so many reports and there are so many photos and I know a lot of stuff can be photoshopped now. And I'm not saying that every report, every picture that's on the internet, I, I'm not saying that you should believe it because I, I, you shouldn't, you shouldn't believe everything you, uh, read everything you see on TV, everything, definitely everything you see on the internet. You shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't really believe it. Um, I've always gone with that old X-Files thing, uh, seeing is believing. And the best way to do that is to go out, uh, join a paranormal team and start experiencing these things on your own so that you can make your own conclusions. Now, this picture was taken in... Let me check really quick. Now this picture was taken in Phoenix that this guy took the picture and his name is Richard Christensen who took this picture. If you live around the Phoenix area and you're interested in this, um, if you can find the location, what I would do, if my team uh, took a picture like this, um, I would do what I'm about to do to this picture. Um, and then I would go where he took this picture and I would be taking daylight pictures of this. Uh, I would be checking the area out. Uh, I would be taking pictures at night because if it is, if it is palm trees and telephone poles and, uh, stuff creating this image of what looks like a demon or an angel, um, then this image should be able to be recreated on a nightly basis. First, we're going to read the article, Fox 25 News. What do you see? Some claim demon caught in photo. Is it a trick of light, an oddly shaped tree, or an unworldly being caught in a photo? Um, definitely not that. That is the question surrounding a photo posted Sunday on Facebook that some say are an image of a demon towering over what is believed to be a phoenix neighborhood the photo has nearly 80,000 shares just days after posting that's pretty crazy the image shows a large shape with what could be taken as wings towering over home some of the nearly 10,000 comments say it's a demon while others while others think it's an angel but some are going with less than supernatural idea that it's only a palm tree or a feature of someone's photoshopping ability now we do know that people photoshop all kinds of crap okay there's a lot of evidence that uh, people post and say it's paranormal when it's really somebody's photoshopping ability, you know? So at first glance, looking at this image, I can tell that this is not the original image that was taken, okay? Obviously, it looks like the light levels were brought up in the videos. Uh, in the picture so that you could see uh, what's in the picture a little better. The image is definitely pixelated. I mean, honestly, it's when you look at this image, it's almost like looking at an ink blot. You know, when you just, it's just, you see something random uh, jumbled together and you think you see a pattern in it. So first we're gonna zoom in and there's our demon or angel. Here, we're gonna adjust the light levels ourselves here just to see what shows up. So here's the image. Now, sometimes when you light up an image, if you think you see something and you adjust the light levels up for better lighting, and sometimes you can see that the image you're looking at is really like two or three different images. And that's almost what I'm seeing here with this. The first thing that I want to talk about is, okay, so this guy's down the street and he 
takes this picture or yeah he's on the other side of a road it looks like he takes this picture and you can see let's take a look at this telephone pole here on the far right clearly this telephone pole is taller than the demon right well we know that the telephone pole is probably closer to the guy taking the picture than whatever this is in the background but if you look at the top of this telephone pole you can see like a little bit of a t okay a lot of telephone poles are like that so that they can run more than one line or more than like a couple lines now look at this other telephone pole it's farther away so it's not as tall as the one closest to us on the right if you'll note this telephone pole is almost the same height as our demon this telephone pole which has a t at the top now there's probably another telephone pole probably right behind this image okay and it's got this telephone pole has like a t at the top they're forming the horns of the actual demon there's already one possible explanation or part of this image okay so now we're going to break down uh, some of the rest of this image now if you look to the far left of this image you are going to see what looks like a palm tree or part of a palm tree and if you look at this image it almost looks like the shape of the angel's wings now you look at his torso area and there's probably another palm tree that's off in the distance simulating this demon's arms okay or you know his waistline when you zoom down to where his legs are those definitely to me look like uh tree trunks for palm trees so my analysis um without going to this location is that this is just a random convergence of uh, different images uh, taken at night everything that i'm talking about is this what it is well without going there it's hard to say is it paranormal definitely not it could be photoshop it could be random things close together forming an image of something else but as a paranormal investigator i would never mark this as evidence if you're in the phoenix area where if you know where this picture was taken Go take some pictures check out the area i'm pretty sure you're gonna see what pretty much what i've explained another thing too is this picture was zoomed in so you not only do you have pixelation not only do you have possible uh objects that are close together that could be forming this but you could also have a little bit of matrixing going on now what is matrixing well here i'll show you here is a picture that my team took on an investigation on a farm okay now right here here is an image on the top right corner of some kind of anomaly um the white and the white lights above those are actually um those are actually street lights so those are obviously uh easily dismissed the little orbs uh that are over by the grass uh those are pretty much dust orbs but this this one right here circled we thought that might have been something so uh we zoomed in now when we zoom in we see what looks like a face now this is matrixing when you zoom in and everything gets pixelated and this is a perfect example of just because it, basically these are corn stalks okay corn stalk leaves it's just a pixelated picture of corn zooming in on some kind of was probably uh moisture on the corn stalks that's reflecting light when the picture was taken and we zoom in and it gets pixelated and then we get an image that's that looks like something but it's not really there now here is the other side of the coin we were investigating a, another farm a farmhouse and we investigated inside and we were taking pictures outside and we took a picture of the house and we caught what looks like something in the second floor window so of course we zoom in on the picture and we and we see what looks like an aberration or a face or something in the window now we were in the house after we took the picture uh, we went in the house there was actually nothing in that room at all nothing completely empty uh not there was nothing there that could have uh made that image in the window there wasn't any like frost or moisture or dew or anything on the window we checked that out as well so if it was glare it would have been a little bit more shiny it definitely would have been shinier than that but we zoom in on the picture and 
of course the image starts to pixelate a little bit and distort but since we were there we were able to go into the house we were able to check out the entire area and so my team knows that there was nothing there that could have created the images and we pretty much checked it out from all angles and we concluded that this was actually paranormal evidence so i did mark this as evidence now for you who's watching this of course you should be skeptical of stuff like this because it's so easy to just oh here's a picture of a farmhouse okay here i'm gonna put it in photoshop and i'm gonna photoshop my little ghost in the window you know i mean so many people do stupid stuff like that and it really messes with the paranormal community and uh you know people that are interested in uh these sorts of things catching ghosts on pictures and um on video and stuff like that and it's sometimes it's really hard to believe stuff that you see and that's both a good thing and a bad thing because credibility is a big thing in the paranormal field you know if if you're putting out stuff and you know it's been proven that you're posting fake stuff stuff you're faking then your credibility is just done you will never be respected in the paranormal field and pretty much nobody's gonna believe you and rightfully so uh, people that are catching real uh, anomalies on pictures and videos um, are always constantly under attack saying that their stuff is faked I always go back to that X-Files thing where seeing is believing. The only way you're going to believe it is if you see it with your own two, two eyes. Anyways, guys, that's my take on this. Uh, nope, I don't think it's a demon. Nope, don't think it's an angel. Don't think it's a ghost. Don't think it's paranormal at all. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think it is? Do you think it's palm trees? Do you think it's just, do you think it's a demon? Do you think it's an angel? Do you think it's a ghost? What do you think it is? Don't forget to thumbs up my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you guys next time. I feel